Hello, my name is Robert Fox. I work in the land grant department at United Tribes Technical College. I'm here to talk about gardening and uh, specifically um, a Rikara or Sachnish garden. We, um, we traditionally plant like in the spring and we plant um, corn, beans and squash together. We plant them in mounds and for us that's what we just we just call them mounds because of our earth lodge um, heritage and stuff so it's kind of like earth lodge and we're planting our seeds which are like babies to us so we're planting them in the ground in the mounds which is like well, so they're coming from mother earth um, also in our tribe uh, the women own the gardens and take care of the gardens and everything so the women um, plant they're the ones that plant the gardens, plant the seeds in. Sometimes they might have a younger uh, male will help out and stuff, but mostly the men might take care of it or get stuff ready, but the women usually do the planting. So when I came here and started working in this department, um, because that's the way it is, and I went and talked to my mom and my grandma and stuff, so to get kind of get permission to work in the gardens and plant seeds, you know, so I wouldn't be going against like a lot of our culture. And they said it was all right and gave me the okay because a lot of um, people in our tribe and around have lost uh, gardening in just like a generation and a half. Uh, when I grew up, everybody had gardens in their family and now there's hardly anybody has their own, own personal gardens in their families. Um, so when we plant them, we plant with, uh, we'll start with uh, five corn and one will be in the center and then in the four directions around it, the other four. And then maybe about a week and a half to two weeks after, you know, we come out and watch and when the corn comes up and it's about three to four inches, and then we'll plant uh, the squash and the beans. And how we do that is then we put, we'll use four beans and they go around the center squash, the center corn. And then we also do, um, squash and we use three squash and we just put them around you know however wherever we think they should go so that way it comes out to 12 seeds that are put in a um, mound and because for our tribe f number fours and multiples of four are like holy numbers so we try and do stuff in fours and multiples of fours so that's how we do it um also one of the things too that is different from our tribe from most other ones is like we don't, the women in our tribe don't smoke the pipe or touch the tobacco. So that's one of the only things that the men guarding, when they're gardening, the men will plant the tobacco seeds and take care of them and harvest them and everything. Um, so out here we'll be planting, we plant corn, beans, squash, and I'll plant a row of uh, sunflowers on one side. And also we, I started doing around the outside is planting a row of corn, a row of squash all the way around the outside. That way, um, when they start growing, we keep the vines and kind of run them along. So it feels like a natural fence to keep animals and stuff out because they don't like to walk through or crawl through all that. You know, the vines of squash are kind of like Velcro, so they really don't like that. So it's kind of a natural barrier. It stops a lot, but not all of them. Um, one of the things too that a lot of people are talking about and I teach people too is like when we plant all the um, our crops and stuff, we also understand that some of them are probably going to be, um, some animals are going to take some of it. So we're okay with that. We understand that, hey, you know, they're, they're, they need stuff to eat too. So we'll like, when something happens, we kind of look and go, hey, <laughs> we'll say, you know, you guys got some of it. the crop now can, you know, don't take all of it for us. We'll let you take some and that's okay. So that's one of another understanding so that also you don't get so upset <laughs> that maybe some of your crop got eaten by the animals. We understand that that's just a natural, natural thing going on.